thank you for all my patreon that supported me so I can make this video. Your donations are truly appreciated and help me a lot. Hello everyone, I'm Archie. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to talk to you about something that's been requested by people who give me suggestion what video to make. And that is Webtoon Panels. According to Wikipedia, comic panels are an individual frame consists of a single drawing depicting a frozen moment. And this is 5 things you need to understand about webtoon paneling as a comic artist that wanted to make a webtoon. All the description are from my own experience of making webtoon for almost 4 years. So if there's any point that are not suitable for you, please take it as a grain of salt. Are you ready? Okay, here it is! First, a reading direction. A common comic page are different with webtoon panels. Common comic pages are printed in books. The panels take it so people read from left to right or from right to left in manga style. But in webtoon, comics are meant to be read in cell phone monitor. The panel layout are more simple, easier to read, and is scrolled from up to down. The panels in webtoon are usually stacked like so. If the layout of panels are too monotone, it will be boring for the readers and probably boring for you to draw too. So to make it more interesting, you can change the layout to be more dynamic using a zigzag pattern. A zigzag pattern makes the reading experience more exciting. The more movement the reader eyes, the more intense the story flow. But don't overuse this. It only make your readers feel dizzy. It's best to combine a monotone layout and a zigzag pattern. A monotone layout for calming scene and a dynamic panel for intense scene. One thing you need to pay attention is, because it's up and down way of reading, the first dialogue always put higher than the second dialogue, and a first scene happening on panels always put higher than a second scene. Second, panel size. Do you know the size of panels can control how the reader perceives the story? A bigger size panel tells the reader that the scenes are more important, and you can use it for zoom in scene that make the reader feel surprised. Small panel make the scene look less important. You can use it for additional scene to emphasize the atmosphere. size and short size panel can also manipulate the reading tempo. The longer the panel gets, it will tell reader how time falls slowly. Long panel usually used to make reader more absorbed to the atmosphere and situation of the story. A melancholic feeling with background scene or just a scene of show readers the situation that happens in the story. while short side panels are made to show the transition of the scene. If you 
you make too many long panels, it can make the readers feel tired and bored. While too many short panels will make your readers detached from the story because they're reading too fast. So it's best to combine the two and make your readers invest more to the storytelling. The third are a gutter. The gutter are the interval between panels. The gutter are an important part of the comic itself. It's useful to make reader eyes rest for a bit and clear their mind from all the intense picture and text. A long gutter size will be a place to make reader take a breath and prepare for what scene going to happen next. The wait and the suspense scrolling to the next scene will make the reading experience more exciting. A gutter is like the silent pause when someone giving a speech. But in webtoon, you need to pay attention to the tempo of a movement your reader take a scroll in their cell phone. The combination of a long and short interval of each scene will influence the flow of your story. Fourth, empty panels. These panels are optional. You can use it or not. It's not that important. Empty panels usually used to explain that the scene are changing place and situation. Example, a home scene changing to a school scene or a changing scene that happens to a character in a different situation and location. If the changing are too abrupt, the readers will be surprised and can't follow what happens in the story. So, empty panels use it for the interval between changing scenes. Last one, 5. Panel Layout The most important part in making webtoon is pay attention that webtoons are for people who read in their cell phone. That means they read from a small size monitor. Too much crowded panels are harder and confusing to read. So, in webtoon, usually it only consists two panels in each scroll. You also need to lay out the dialogue balloon so it's not too crowded and consists too many texts. That's all the 5 important things you need to understand in making webtoon panels. To me personally, Panels are the language that comic artists speak the story to their reader. Every artist has different voices. Some talk slowly, some talk fast, some are boring, some exciting. It's the same like communication. If the story are enjoyable to read, it means that the artists are also considering the reader interest. And if the story be able to convey the reader, that means the artist's voice are heard. I think that is one of the greatest things of being comic artist. Comic to me are a way to communicate. Artists need to be thoughtful to the reader's sake. Isn't it sad if you speak but nobody understand? because the way you talk is confusing or you too self-absorbed so nobody willing to listen? A good comic artist is a good storyteller and a good storyteller have a good panel in their comic. I hope this video are useful and be able to help. If you have any comment, critic or suggestion, just let me know in the comment, okay? Thank you and see you in another video. Bye-bye.